to celebrate the birthday of Reverend Father Hamlet Kuju, the rector and principal of this institution. Secondly, to bid farewell to Mr. Harichan, one of the support staff of our school. And thirdly, to recognize and to congratulate the toppers of classes 10 and 12 board exams of the year 2021. Dear Reverend Father Hamlet Kuchu, a very happy birthday and many returns of the same. We wish you God's abundant blessing on you and on your dear ones. May you enjoy good health and happiness all through your life. This is the third time that Father Hamlet and I live together. First in Jabalpur in 1995, where he was a student brother and I was an aspirant. In Don Bosco School Gunda, he was the rector and principal and I was the vice rector and administrator. And here at Alakranda again, where he is the rector and principal and I as the vice principal. It's always been a joy to work with you. Reverend Father Hamlet Kuju is a very simple, humble and gentle person. By nature he is on the quieter side, but very pleasant to work with. He is an academician and an educationist. 
is intelligent and methodical in whatever he does. He is kind but firm on principles. He is a team leader, a meticulous planner of events and a hard worker who executes his plans. As a priest of God, he is deeply spiritual, a model of prayer life and a good animator of the Salvation community. He is a good preacher too. His sermons are usually logical, well prepared and effectively delivered. So dear Father Hamlet Kujo, as you celebrate your first birthday as Rector and Principal of Dhamdo School School Alaknanda, we wish you all the best and may God bless you with good health, success and joy in your life. May He give you wisdom and guidance to lead the school to greater heights. As I conclude, this is my birthday wish and prayer for you. Your life is God's gift to you and what you make of it is your gift to God. Once again, happy birthday. The day in history when father was born can never be forgotten. We have so much to learn from father's life. A leader, a teacher, a mentor. Father has played several roles in his life. Father's journey so far is like a little known mystery. I wish to uncover all the untold stories and who else would be better to tell them but the man himself. Father Hemlet, our current leader and mentor, was born in Dandrakpur, Jharkhand. Father's journey began in a small town of Jharkhand where he started weaving his magnum opus. Good morning, Father. Good morning. Uh, so, how does it feel to be back at Don Bosco? I feel uh, happy that I have been uh, sent here to begin my second life in Don Bosco School, Alaknanda. Um, what is the difference that you feel in Don Bosco Alaknanda than the previous school where you were posted? In Don Bosco Alaknanda, I find everything is well established. The teachers, the students, they are responsible. Any assignment or task is given to them, then they take it as a pride and they try to do it in the best way possible. This is the difference that I find. Uh, between Don Bosco School, Alaknanda, and the other school that I was. Uh, do you feel like a student uh, coming back to his old school full of nostalgia? Yes, it is a nostalgic uh, feeling for me to come back to Don Bosco School, Alaknanda, 
and begin my second life here as rector and principal of this school. Uh, so, Father, uh, Don Bosco uh, congregation has been a second home? Yes, Don Bosco congregation has been a second home because I left uh, my mm -hmm. home at an early stage to start my journey with uh, solutions. I left home in the year 1985 and joined Don Bosco School uh, Hatia and uh, I was uh, happy to associate my life with solutions. Uh, so, Father, tell us something about your childhood, like uh, where did you grow and where did you study, in school did you study? My parents were uh, in Jharkhand and uh, I studied in uh, St. Aloysius Middle School, Mandar in a Hindi medium school. He graduated with a bachelor's degree in history, political science, economics, English and Hindi in 1998. In 2006 and 2011, he earned his master's degrees in history and sociology respectively. You are a studious or a notorious child, father? I was always a studious child. Uh, where did you go for your higher studies? For higher study, I went to Don Bosco School, Bandel. Then for graduation, I went to St. Aloysius College, Jabalpur. And for post-graduation, uh, Ranchi University and IGNU. What Don Bosco means to your father? Don Bosco means uh, everything for me. He is my father, teacher, guide, friend. Uh, which story inspires you the most from uh, Don Bosco's life? The dream of Don Bosco at the age of nine, wherein Don Bosco was shown his mission and where Mother Mary appears before Don Bosco and tells him how to go about achieving his mission. She tells him to be gentle, humble, kind in order to win over the souls of the boys. Aapki. हर सांस ने जीवन को नया अर्थ दिया आपने चंचल नदियों को भी आकार दिया आप उस महान कला की भांति हैं कलाकार ने जिसका आशीर्वाद लिया हौसला रखा आपने मुस्कुराहटों का साथ ना छोड़ा अशकों को कभी गिरने ना दिया मुश्किलों का वीरता से सामना किया जीत गए आप जीवन के हर तूफान से जीत गए आप जीवन के हर तूफान से बॉयज बिकम इंजीनियर्स डॉक्टर्स एंड लॉयर्स व्हाट मेड यू चूज प्री स्टूड फादर एक्चुअली इट वाज माय पेरेंट्स who inspired me and encouraged me to become a priest from my early childhood. They used to be constantly reminding me that uh, 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 later on in my life, I need to imitate the priest and if God willing, I must become a priest. Who was your mentor and uh, what is that one important lesson that uh, you learned from him or her? I cannot exactly pinpoint uh, one particular mentor in my life because there are so many uh, priests. Any one which you remember the most? Any one? Yes, I can remember the principal of St. Louis College, uh, Jabalpur, Father uh, Davis. He was the principal there and he used to be standing every morning as we used to enter the uh, our uh, Classes. He used to be there wishing each one of us with his smiling face. He was strict at the same time. He was also very gentle, kind and friendly to us. And he gave me a lot of opportunities to take responsibilities during my college days. Father Hamlet has a significant place in the heart of Bosconians in New Delhi. 
because he was the vice principal of Don Bosco Alaknanda from 2008 to 2012. Throughout his tenure as vice principal at DBA, father honored all his commitments with utmost honesty. Like the North Star, which adorns the night sky and guides travelers, Father too is like a guiding light for all of us. हे हमारे पिता स्वर्ग दाम पिता हे हमारे पिता uh, so father now we'll have the rapid fire round so you have to answer all the questions in one word or one sentence okay so uh, your favorite food my favorite food is rice uh, favorite line from the Bible? You did not choose me, but I chose you. Uh, greatest fear? Greatest uh, fear of the people. A best memorable moment from your childhood? Best memorable moment in my life is when I got uh, second rank in the university for history subject. Uh, were you your father's or your mother's pet? I was my father's pet. Uh, one quality that you want to see in every boss. They should be disciplined in life. Father has become synonymous with the word wife. Even though no word or expression can truly describe father's wisdom. Father is a person who beholds the bliss of nature, loves the synergy between melody and harmony, and is a seeker of discipline in Bosconians. He is an icon and a personality to look up to. Uh, so, Father, for these questions, you have to answer in yes or no. Uh, do you like pets? Yes. Do you believe in early to bed, early to rise? Yes. Uh, do you give importance to social media? Yes. Are you a strict person? Yes. Do you believe in dealing with students strictly? No. Okay, great. Uh, so it was lovely having a conversation with you, Father. Uh, would you like to give any message to the Bosconians? I'd like to leave a message to all my Bosconians. Change your attitude into gratitude. Be grateful to God for everything. Do your best and God will do the rest. Celebration of every birthday reminds us that life is to be celebrated as a gift. We cherish the gifts that we receive happily, joyfully and with gratitude. I have been with the Father Hamlet, our principal, working and sharing various moments of life for the past two months. I have experienced that he has been living his life as a gift. He is happy that he has been given this precious gift of life by God. He expresses this in moments of prayer and the way he responds to various events in his life. His days begin with the prayer, taking God's blessings for the day and expressing gratitude for all that God has been to him. Our Father Principal is calm and serene, dedicated to the work that has been entrusted to him. He has been very meticulous in his work, planning systematically and executing it in the best possible manner. He is very approachable and ever ready to do his best in fulfilling the responsibilities entrusted to him. I pray that may the good Lord keep blessing him with the good health and many more years life to come in serving the youngsters in numerous ways through his life and vocation. And finally, may Don Bosco, our father and founder, be his constant inspiration in all his undertaking. Once again, wish him a very happy birthday. birthday.
सहृदय नमन करते हैं हम आपको सहृदय नमन दिन है खास आज का क्योंकि है आपका जन्मदिन चाहते थे ये शुभ दिन हम सब मिलकर धूमधाम से मनाए परंतु कोरोना महामारी ने सभी अच्छे दिन भुलाए खेल फूलों की तरह आप सदा मुस्कुराए ईश्वर करे जो भी चाहा आपने जीवन में बिन मांगे ही मिल जाए बच्चे हैं हम आपके सदा आशीर्वाद बनाए रखना पहुँचे सफलता के उच्च शिखर पर अपना मार्गदर्शन बनाए रखना जी चाहता है झूम झूम कर गाय मिलकर गान आप जैसे प्रधानाचार्य सबको मिले है विद्यालय के हर व्यक्ति को जिन पर अभिमान जन्मदिन है आपका करो बधाई स्वीकार खूब पढ़ेंगे नाम करेंगे अपने विद्यालय का यही है हमारी ओर से हमारा प्रेम भरा उपहार हमारा प्रेम भरा उपहार हैप्पी बर्थडे रिस्पेक्टेड फादर Dear fathers, teachers, students, staff, and parents, on the occasion of my birthday, I would like to express my sincere words of gratitude to each one of you for your birthday greetings, wishes, prayers, love, support, and appreciation. I thank all teachers and students in a very special way who organized. virtual birthday celebration under the guidance of father david father sachin and sir sabi to make this day a memorable one for me is there more ayer has correctly said a life lived with thanksgiving every day is never tired or be lived again and again As I thank the Almighty God for the manifold blessings in my life, I would like to present before you four points for our reflection to make life more meaningful and beautiful. They all begin with the English letter L. First, live. Live your life as if it is going to be your last today. Every day you must live your life to the best way possible. Most of us either live in the past with guilt feelings or live in the future with so much of worry and anxiety. Thus we forget to live in the present. Make the best use of the present time and you will experience the life is worth living. Second, learn. Learn something new every day by way of reading, life experience, events, person, place, and taking new initiatives. We will never reach a stage when we can say that we have learned enough. There is nothing more to learn. We do not stop playing because we are old. we grow old because we stop playing third love love as many people as possible widen or broaden the circle of your friends the more you love the more love you will get back in return dr abdul kalam has said it is very easy to defeat someone but it is very hard to win someone john paul as again said a life is shaped by those who love us and those who refuse to love us we can never say that we have loved enough fourth legacy what is my contribution to family state school society and finally to the world we can always make some contribution to where we live or the people with whom we interact every day let us give some of ourselves to the world this is the message i would like to give to you all try to live your life to the full 
Learn something new every day. Love as many people as possible and make your contribution to the world. Thank you and God bless you. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. We wish you a very happy birthday. Please accept our heartfelt greetings. We are craving to meet you and greet you to express our true feelings. If not meeting in person, we should definitely e-meet soon. Cutting a virtual cake will also keep everyone immune. We welcome you back to Don Bosco to set a new record. And we all, as a team, will achieve something which has never occurred. You are a teacher. You are a friend. Let's unbox new thoughts and set a new trend. We wish you celebrate this day for a thousand years. And we all will always be cheering as volunteers. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy